little bit slippery out here. Yeah, we're like, what, five minutes into the ride? Fresh air filter. Check. Bam, she's ready to load up. Just gotta figure out the tires for the Razor, load that up, then I can load this in, and I can throw my clothes in, my blanket. We'll be ready to rip, boys. And then we got a full set of the 32 10, 14 terabytes. I don't know, the fronts are, they've still got some tread on them, you know? Not, they're worn down, you can see the little line right there. But uh, the backs, <laughs> those, uh, Smoke and the tires on the rocks kind of definitely took a little heat off there. Heat. Took a little bit of heat when I was smoking them on the rocks. I don't know what I should do. I could just rotate them and run them with low pressure and then call it good at the dunes. I just don't want to be that guy that shows up there and then freaking burns up his belt or like... Oh yeah, she's all knotted up in there, huh? Or like... Is freaking slow because my tires suck. These these terabytes really aren't all that great in the sand, even when they're new. So I'm thinking, ah, I don't know. For comparison, all right. So we got about two fingers in her right there. Barely one. These are definitely they're actually way more worn down than I thought. Like when you look at the new one versus the old one, this is a shot. Okay, as of right now, it's decided I will throw the tires on. I am gonna, I'll just take them to work tomorrow, break them down, I, that way I can use the jacks and all that stuff, and uh, we'll throw these puppies on, but I'll catch you guys in the morning. Welcome back to the Razor Tire Saga Day 2. So I brought this thing into work, just finished up, and I figured I'll get these changed over, and being me, I'm like, I'll change them myself, because I don't wanna pay anybody to do it and got those right there, but I can't get the bead to break off of the, the old rims. So, I've got them all pulled off. Uh, the other one's right there, other ones on the other side. But now I'm gonna run them down to the tire shop and have them break it down, and then maybe I'll have them throw them back on, or maybe I'll do it myself. But that's what we're doing right now. And as you can see, it is pretty safe. Um, oh, so this is, this right here, it's not real, so like, if. OSHA if you're watching this that's it's just fake it's a prop it's actually supported very securely so don't worry about it bam forever later we got the rims off and ready to go I got forgot to put slime in these things dude it's such a mess all over my spare tire. <sighs> this is taking so long. I wanted to be like on the road right now, but you know how it is. Everything costs more. It takes longer than you think. My dad's gonna come now, so he's here working on his razor. Doing a little suspension boot change or steering boot change. Always use lube. That nice and saucy. So here's my dad's 30s, and there's the new 32. Just got mounted up. Yeah, it's it's a bit bigger. It's probably two inches bigger. Imagine that. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, I'll measure them, and they'll be like 31 and a half, 32 maybe. Check this out. Right on the money at 30. And I do only have five psi in them right now. Um, for the dunes and stuff, but I mean even if you arm up a little bit, they're not gonna get that much taller So my dad's for comparison his are supposed to be 30s I'm not sure how many pounds he has in his probably 8 10 They're like 28 so That's basically the stock size right there. We took a little not a detour, but we had a big delay coming through the canyon a semi had to hit head on with a crane and it completely freaking ripped the whole entire uh, 
cab right off the frame of the semi. So it was pretty gnarly, and that's what held us up so long. But there was a a crane that went by with the wheel ripped off a little while ago. Holy shit! Look at that semi, guys! It completely ripped the cab off of that thing. Saturday morning and it is a solid 22 degrees out here we got the diesel heater going it's actually pretty warm in here it's like about holding steady like just under 70 so it's pretty nice but it's freezing outside I think we're gonna go fire up the generator make some cinnamon rolls or something here we are yeah it's a little chilly we're dedicated though apparently look at that that is not your typical camping breakfast old toaster oven pulled through got a little bit of burnage on the top but those look freaking good few moments later a little bit slippery out here yeah we're like what five minutes into the ride yeah and i, I pulled a like 15 yeah see what happened was i came this way and i gassed it trying to slide down here kind of caught spun around and then yeah now we're on the side but I don't know, dude. I think. I was like, I was like, oh, this is going track for sure. Yeah. Well, see, this is a problem, dude. It's all. I couldn't get any traction because it's ice. And then, and then I got traction right here. Yeah. This is why you get cages. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the second time that I've tested this one out. But dude, look, it didn't even break this whip. It just broke one. Damn it, dude. At first I was like, oh, he's just going to go on to the I'm going. I'm going home, dude. <laughs> Six hours to get here yesterday. Yeah. We can rip the CV out. I almost going when you guys are going around. I'm like, I'm just going to sit up here because... Dude, that was sad. It's going to go bad. I guess that makes sense to like put something slick into something hard, hard and soft. Yeah. Yeah. We should have thought about that earlier, dude. I know. We don't know. Dude, I don't know why I rolled over. Nobody else did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a fluke thing. I think gravity caught you. Yeah. New tires, dude. Have you yeah. Well, well it's, yeah, it's because, years. see, I got these new tires. I'm not calibrated to the amount of traction that they have. I'm a hurricane. I'm bringing thunder We'll just winch it up, so uh, go ahead and give her the onion. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I gotta loosen the tire first. I'm getting ahead of myself here. You wanna film? Sure. Okay. Austin's got his helmet on though, for yeah, protection. Well, it's like NASCAR. I got boots on too, in case. These aren't steel toe right here, but they're steel toe right there, so that's for safety. Safety first, or third. All right, rev her up. So 
so. Okay. I have some. You got lube? Jack's got lube. Jack's got lube. Oh. <laughs> One eternity later. I'm sorry, I got lost in the sauce. Dude, this is literally the same razor we were just working on, but now the belt, Dude, belt got blown. I know. Oh, hey, hey. It's Austin's razor. Yeah. Hey, you blew it pretty good. Look at all the fuzz in here. You had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I know. Well, I should have just changed it back there, but I'm like, oh, maybe Honestly, it'll last. Honestly, I was thinking, I was like, well, see, the problem was I went off this and I jumped a little bit, and when my wheels touched down, oh, it was like it just immediately shreds it. Dude, just go. It just goes. Just like that. Watch out for the grease. There's a lot of grease in there. Let's see some dance moves, dude. What do you got? Dude, that's it. That's all I got. It's cold. Nick? <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's quite how you do it. Yeah. The, that right there. Not made for kids. Okay, now back to your dad. Still working on your razor. Anyways. You want me to jump to like do something? Like hold this up maybe? Dude, there's nothing left. Yeah, dude, if you shred it, you don't even have to take it off. It just it comes off by itself. I don't know why, but oh, it blew the off. rubber. The rubber broke, dude. Oh yeah, she's all knotted up in there, huh? <laughs> See, I used a rope instead of a belt. Oh, there's your problem. Okay, so it's like 6.50 in the morning and I just loaded up the bike and the razor and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bounce. It's like 10 degrees outside. I don't think I'm gonna ride my bike. My razor's just like almost out of gas and my dad took the rest of it home, so. I guess that's that. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you guys liked the the content, let me know. Or if you've ever been out to Little Sarah and had something crazy happen like I did in this one, hit me up. I'd like to hear about it. But catch you guys next time.